you guys that don't know me, I'm uh, Frank Cribby. I'm uh, Josh's best friend. I spent some time last week while I was in class thinking about everything we've gone through together and uh, everything that I needed to say about him. And I think this sums it up. In life, it's said that you have one good, if you have one good friend, you're doing well. Josh is without a doubt my best friend in this world. I was more than lucky to be able to call him my best friend. In my eyes, there was no one better suited for the job than Josh. He was the type of person who would help anyone out and get the shirt off his own back if need be. I can still remember many years ago when we were in elementary school together. I was with him the first time he got his first referral. <laughs> He went to his seat, scared and crying, fearing that when he got home, Mr. Wayne was going to handle business. <laughs> so the next week, when he was in after school detention, I was right there, right alongside him. I was there for getting paid money to eat ants and dishes our friends made at lunch. But Josh's offense was a little less harmless. I told him, don't worry, it'll be all right. After your third or fourth time here, it's not so bad. <laughs> it's a drop in the bucket. It seemed to get him through that hour, hour and a half. Or the time our senior year, I'm sure everyone's heard this story, when he decided to hold onto a nylon rope and burn his hands. Out of Lake 11, he burned him quite severely. And then they don't believe in the Michael Jackson gloves for the next two and a half weeks, including our senior prom. At school, I had to dress him and undress him. And Miss Allen, she had to bathe him out in the front yard. I didn't want to get his hands wet. Josh always seemed to be hurting himself accidentally. I know he didn't mean any, but, I mean, come on. That kid walked outside and got struck by lightning. <laughs> Just the way he was. If I had a camera every time, I'd be one rich man. But despite all that and hurting himself, he was, he was the hardest working guy I'd ever met beside Mr. Wayne and Big John. If he had an extra five minutes, he figured he could use it to either be studying or making money. The guy could never sit still. It's what I like to call the Mr. Wayne gene. Mr. Wayne and Miss Allen, his mom and dad, my second mom and dad. They taught him that work ethic, along with Big John and Noel. Big John, who I owe my life, took me to my first magic game. And Grandma Pearl and Grandma Ursula and everybody else, his brother Big John and Jonica, even Grandpa Bob, and everybody. They were the ones that instilled that into him. It was Mr. Wayne that would take us out on those Saturdays, work us all day long, whether it was mowing fields, sawing logs, or driving equipment none of us were trained to do. <laughs> We'd be out there for 10, 12 hours, but Mr. Wayne would pay us for it, always paid us well. And Miss Allen and Jonathan would always be sitting there waiting for us, Gatorades and sandwiches. That's where it was at. Mr. Wayne even took me. I mean, everybody who knows me well, I can't build a birdhouse. I, can, I can't even really build a picture frame. I can't even hang one on the wall. But Mr. Wayne taught me the basics of carpentry, at least the Mr. Wayne side of it. <laughs> the old phrases, even if it's warped, not working too well, just nail it in. <laughs> I've learned a lot from the Allens, my second family. Anytime I was hungry or needed some work, they were the first ones there. I owe them more than I can ever say, but most of all for giving me my best friend. I always knew one day Josh and I would have to go our separate ways. I just never thought it would be this soon. In my mind, we were going to go through our lives together. He was going to be the best man at my wedding. He was going to be the godfather of my children. But. The one part of life that is, without a doubt, a sure thing happened when Josh, Josh's time was cut short. An old saying is, the better the person is, the faster they're taken. 
Josh's case was spot on. Josh is the best man I ever met. And that's not sugarcoated. I'm sure everyone in here will agree with me. Josh accomplished more than anybody could in two lifetimes. I'd do anything to bring him back. More than, I mean, I would just do anything. I, I wish I could cry up here and show you how sincere I was, but I've been doing it for the last two weeks. I do it most all for Mr. Wayne, Miss Allen, and his whole family. I'd do anything to bring him back for them. Everybody's life is a part of it, especially Laura's beautiful girlfriend. I'm going to miss Josh more than anything. More than anyone will ever know. I'm not going to have him there to listen to me complain, which you can say this, I'm sure he's happy about. <laughs> or have that person to throw footballs on, on all day long on Saturdays and Sundays during a Gator game. He, will, he was and will always be my best friend and brother. Nothing in life, especially in my life, will be as good without sharing it with him first. To my last day on earth, when I take my final breath, I'll remember Josh Allen, the best human being I've ever known, but more importantly, my best friend.